Let's just take a quick run through the details and a quick look at the midwinter wafer vest. It's a very lightweight piece of equipment, very well insulated. It's got a typical operating temperature of zero degrees, so it goes into quite low temperatures. It's got some features that are worth looking into. It's using, we use the pattern block that we use for the wafer Ultima vest. So it's a long vest. It's got, it comes right down to, it comes well down past the waist to really stop cold air getting in. It's also got this very high collar to really insulate closely around your neck and, and it's high enough to come up to you below your throat there. So it's a very insulating piece of gear. It's also got here, we've got a couple of unique features on this one. It's made in Ultrashell. Ultrashell is that water resistant fabric. It's got a waterproof treatment on the outer and the underside. So two coatings, one on the outer and one on the inner of the fabric. The outer is a DWR treatment to, to cause water to bead and run off. But the inner is a permanent um, sprayed on treatment. It's, it's waterproof and breathable. So it's a very, very good piece of treatment to protect the down. Of course, it's not a fully waterproof piece of gear. If you're out in proper rain, heavy rain, then you need a, a fully taped waterproof shell over the top of it. But it is an advantage to have a water resistant fabric over the top of, um, on, over the down. If you're going to be using, if you're going to be camping in some way, you've got condensation on the inside of your tent or wet gear in the tent. So this waterproof fabric, Ultra Shell, PhD's Ultra Shell is very, 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 very good for that. The inner of the garment is made out of M1 fabric. It's a super lightweight, down windproof, downproof fabric used for making sleeping bags and down equipment. And we've used it for many years now. It's superb fabric, soft to the touch and very nice to have on the inside of the garment. Now then, on the midwinter wafer vest here, we've got a full length zip, so it zips all the way down to the hem. And we've got a zipped chest pocket as well. I'll just run through these pockets. They're, the two pockets down at waist level are hand warmer pockets. When you put your hands inside them, your hands go into a pocket bag under the down. So they're a very, very good place to warm your hands up. So if you've got, if your fingers have gone white and cold or your gloves aren't cutting it, they've got wet through or something like that and they're not warm enough. Very good place to be able to warm your hands up. In addition here, we've got a chest pocket the chest pockets are very accessible so if you've got if these pockets are blanked off by the hip belt on your rucksack or your climbing harness this pocket is always accessible now again it's an insulated pocket the pocket bag is underneath the down so when you put your hand inside it's warm but particularly useful there for a gps or something like that a battery piece of equipment where you're trying to keep it warm to really get the best lifespan from the battery so that pocket is particularly useful this vest has got the optional hood on it. The hood is an optional extra, not everyone wants a hood, and it's rare to find a hood on a, on a, on a vest. But the hoods are particularly useful if you're gonna use this equipment for camping. So if you're lightweight backpacking, trekking, or even in a race where you're, a multi-stage race where you're camping overnight, the hood is worth considering. It adds a little bit of weight, but it gives a considerable amount of warmth. So for camping situations particularly, I think the hoods are well worth adding. It's an optional extra and you can add it at the time of ordering. We'll make the hood for you. The hood is removable. It's just attached by studs. So you can take it off if you don't need it at that particular time. Um, and it's a very lightweight hood, again, down filled, very, very warm, very protective, windproof um, and insulated with down, so very warm. It's got a simple lycra, lycra edging to it uh, to cinch it in around the face. And it's a very, very light piece of equipment. So again, it stash is very small, can be kept inside your, in, inside your rucksack if you're not using it, but it's there. It's a very lightweight piece of kit and it adds a tremendous amount of warmth in those situations. So there we go. There's a close look at the midwinter wafer vest. Cheers.